I think looking at Porek and the role he has played, we come to an irony in history. The backroom players never get acknowledged, and yet they, they remain the essential part of the solution. People who are in the Foreign Service, people who are in the UN, oh my God, you know, they can't do what Porek does. That's the, why there are the Poreks of the world. Porek's goal was to get them in the same room to listen to the South Africans. And he accomplished that goal. And it hadn't been done before. There are many of us who know him who haven't really figured out what motivates him. And when you try to take the conversation in that direction, it sort of runs out. It, it, it doesn't get very far. Uh, my name is Porek. I'm an alcoholic. I'm often concerned about the, uh, the quality of my uh, sobriety. I keep my life. Mm. One part is here, one part is here, one part is here. Each part has its own so you're personality. A, con man. a what? Around this table, we are brothers and sisters in a family that has experienced distress, trauma dispossession, 